Okay, so that's what it looks like when it comes out. So you've got, actually, that's completely, the uh, bolt is stuck in this little housing. There's a, it's actually three parts. I got one over here that's not stuck, but it, normally you've got that. And, uh, and anyway, there's a, there's a top piece. The nut goes in there and then you've got a bottom housing. All right. So the manual says to, if you've got leaks to take this whole spindle or idle and uh, gear, not the gear, but anyway, the uh, bearing out. But if you're in a bind like I am, what you can do, you can order these, uh, the, there's a thin shim and a thick shim and uh, that's a thin shim right there. I've already used my only thick one. But you're basically just trying to seal it up and tighten it, getting it tight to the bottom housing down there. And they just ream out over time. So you need to get more space to kind of pull them together tighter. At least that's the, the theory. So you can order these from, uh, what is it, the mower? disc mower doctor you can get some used ones they're like 30 bucks for this whole that's it that's 30 bucks right there or you can buy a brand new um symbol uh but i think it's about 100 bucks but anyway um take the thin shim and put it on the top housing and uh that's gonna give you a little bit more grip and this is gonna push up on the underneath side I'm also putting a little uh, gasket silicone on there just to add a little extra, um, you know, sealing capacity, if you will. At least that's the plan. Once again, we'll see if it works. But every, about every other one of these um, idler spindles were, were leaking, so kind of sucked. So, go back over here. I haven't moved the, the bearing and all of that. Actually, you can kind of see the shims. If you look from that angle, you can kind of see the different layers that it has. And you can pull that whole thing out, but then you gotta pull all this off. Not really one to go there. So, put that sucker back up in there. Let that silicone kind of grab it. I'm gonna put a little gasket silicone here as well. If it's gonna leak, it's gonna leak at the bottom mostly until it gets really reamed out. And then it's gonna leak everywhere. Don't really wanna to get too much of this silicone down in there. Not good for the gears, you know. Yeah, I'm sloppy, I know. Oh, see, it fell out. I thought it was gonna stick, oh well. Put it back up in there with all that mud and everything. Dirt. Whatever. I'm tired, been at it all day. You know, when you've been at it all day, it makes for a long day. All right, so, see that? We're going back with this old one and Instead of that new one, just because that washer fit a little flat, flatter. But that's it. Basically, that's that's your repair right there. And then let that silicone and everything set up overnight before you put the oil back in the cutter bar. And uh, that'll fix you for a little while until it does it again. I hope that helped.